me a favor, pull just Whoa. to the right hand side Whoa. of the road. Thank you. Yeah, you're just walking or you're calling a taxi, one of the two. You're not get out of the fucking car. I don't even know why you okay. think that would be an option. There is a improperly parked bike against the 24-7 here, and I'm not sure why it's parked like that, uh, to be truthfully honest. So I'm going to do a quick scan of this and see if there's anyone inside the 24-7 or... I don't know. I don't even know where they would be. That could be from an earlier call or something as well, too. Hey, Sheriff's Office, anyone in here? Hello? Any staff working coming in? Hello? Weird. Okay, so we have a bike that's just... I, it looks kind of wrecked into the building. I'm not sure if it actually is. We're going to take a peek at it really quick. You don't see bikes like this often, so it has to actually have to be a bike here. Uh, we got a plate of SALS SALS 0584. SALS 0584. You're good. SALS 0584. Why is this being a Fruit Loop? Searching up SALS 0584. We do have a record coming back, and that's coming back to... Ken Tuck. Uh, no picture on that because it is not a license. So I guess that kind of makes sense. So I'm going to keep that up for a second. We're going to shut that down. So his name's going to be, uh, let's see, Ken Tuck. Let's search this and see who we're dealing with here. We got one license, five vehicle registrations coming back. Uh, it's going to be the driver of this motorcycle here. I don't know why it's just sitting there. Expiration of a 0805-2023. That's not even his motorcycle one. Technically, he doesn't even have a motorcycle license in the first place to... Interesting. Yeah, that's right. They don't have a breakdown of a motorcycle's license there. So that's a little bit of a bummer. Damn, that person's window tent on their Mercedes is stupid dark. I feel like we're going to need to talk to him about that because they can't even see out the front windshield. I'm trying to get a tow truck here. Okay, so it is going to be county tow. Um, so we're going to get this out of here. County tow just coming from down the street. So we'll just go ahead and get that out of there. Not a big deal. Uh, we got this vehicle across the street, which has just absurdly dark window tint on this Mercedes. And uh, looks to be that female driver that just went into the 24-7 there. I am going to pull across the street. We're going to flip around and we're going to wait for her to get back in the vehicle. Uh, so we can perform a traffic stop on her. I don't want to intercept her when we're kind of out and about doing our stuff. So let's turn off our car here. We'll go ahead and wait. She's already on her way back, so we shouldn't have to wait too long here. Okay, female driver is moving, and I see... Oh, God, I can't remember his name. It has been so long since I've seen Trent's character of the old man. Uh, so this is the driver's vehicle that just has two darker window tint here. So we're going to light him up, pull him over. Look at that motherfucking old guy attempting to run throughout the streets, because that's going to work. All right, let's go ahead and go up to this car. Get them lit up before they get on the main road, possible. I doubt it. Monkey 24, 10, 11. 275 Panorama Drive, Alhambra, on a white Mercedes four-door occupied times one. I got you. I got you. I got you. I'll pin around my home with a white Ford Mercedes. Like 50, 10, 32. How you doing? Hi. 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 How's it going today? Good. good. How are you? Good, good. So, your window tint is stupid dark. Oh? Why is it so yeah. dark? What do you mean, oh, it is? What? <laughs> you know what it is when you got in your car this morning. I mean, this is not my car. Whose car is it? My boyfriend's car. Okay, why is your boyfriend rolling around with such dark window tint? I don't. He's a dumb hat. Okay. You got uh, your license registration insurance for the vehicle and all that stuff? There you Thank go. you, Miss Goldman. All right, sit tight for me, okay? I'll be right back with you. Uh, no, I think I'm good here. I appreciate it. Have a good one. All right, so we have this registration open from the last bike that we just talked with. It's going to be a Morgan uh, Goldman. Let's go ahead and see what we got with this female's license. Taking a second to actually run there, which is there we go. Uh, a few traffic citations. We have a license. No arrests or anything like that. 
and that's going to be the female in question driver's license 815 2022 bruh oh no an expired driver's license oh shit uh, okay well that's one thing that's taken care of so this isn't going to be under her name as it is so let's go ahead and see if we can get a plate for this i'm going to shut this down really quick and it's going to be me m m e r c so meme merc meme merc uh i think that's going to be the best best way to spell it i don't know oh no it does have two m's i don't even think it's registered to be truthfully honest okay we got a name of james melrose i'm going to search that name just so we can see uh what's going on mel rose i want to see if the plate comes back to the actual person or if it doesn't I see oh no it is no that's not it right there so that's weird I, I, they're saying it's registered but it's not coming back so that's a little bit odd if you ask me uh let's go ahead and re-get this female's name in it's gonna be a morgan goldman again uh we're gonna have to speak to her about the expired license it's uh it's not like a huge deal we are looking at if i remember correctly like 10 days yeah literally 10 days on the dot so could be a lot worse i'm gonna have a quick chat with her okay you know you're uh, driving on an expired license right okay by 10 days uh you are expired so not the biggest of deals, but obviously still somewhat of an issue, correct? Mr. Pink, what are you doing? What do you mean? I, you're just walking aimlessly around town. What are you doing? I don't know. Okay, well, why don't you go back home? Yeah, I don't, well, I don't know. Oh, okay, it's almost midnight. Go home. Okay. Okay, uh, he's going to die out here tonight. So, um... It sounds like he's lost. I'm going to ticket you, because you can't be obviously doing that. I'm not going to tow the car. I'm not going to make you walk home. But you need to get that taken care of right away, okay? Oh, yeah. No, I definitely will. Okay. So, let me print out your ticket really quick. Give me just another, like, two minutes. I'll be out. I'll get you out of here, okay? I'm going to have an active building fire with explosives. All right. Let's uh, get this. Nothing. Uh, ten days out on that. So, that's not too much, uh, to be truthfully honest with that. So, let's let's put in her name. It's going to be a Morgan Goldman. Two Victor 143. That's a commercial structure fire. Multiple stories. Ah, shit. That's not what I wanted. Goldman 23. Vehicle information. Not going to come back, so we're not going to import it. Charge will be uh, window... Well, actually, we're going to do a window tint violation as well, too, unfortunately. So we're going to do expired uh, again. Expired. Why am I not spelling it right? I guess it would be driving without a license. So no jail time today. It's going to be a thousand dollars in fines and we'll go ahead and get her out of here. Uh, like I said, it's nothing too crazy. That's, you know, I've seen a lot worse expiration dates, which we've had to deal with. Okay. So, uh, I forgot about the window tent. I'm going to cite you for that, even though it's under your boyfriend's, uh, vehicle. I would tell him to fix that. So that way people don't get pulled over. Okay. So drive without a license, window tent, sign the bottom. It's not a mission to guilt. So I can take care of this in court. Uh, and it should be fairly simple. Okay. Okay. There's cool. There's your copy and all that stuff. I would highly suggest you before take it back off, go on the DMV website, maybe get a new ID submitted. So you have a temporary one. Yeah. Can I go around the corner there and do yeah, you can do it here or there. It doesn't really matter. Just I would, before you do much more driving, running the risk of getting pulled over again, get a temporary one, okay? Uh, I'm already on scene. Okay. I've got okay. Okay. All right, ma'am. Have a good day. Appreciate the cooperation. Cool. So, nice traffic stop there. We cut him a big break. Ten days out. You know, again, like I said, oh, shit, not too big. That family just died. Uh, we're going to run down there and make sure everyone's okay. I bet you it was George. He literally probably killed himself fucking ten minutes later. It wasn't there. I want to say it's going to be down here, probably. No, nothing here either. Interesting. Maybe not. I told you to go home. You still out walking about? I don't have a home. Why don't you have a home, George? Never just do a push up. No, you should find a home. No, I'm talking to George. Hold on. Huh? What? Can you speak up, George? Can't hear you. 
Delta 124, copy, we'll, we'll go. What'd you say? What? 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 Uh -huh. mm. Come again? Mm. So where'd your home go, George? I don't know. Should be able to attach me to it. How do you not know where your home, home went? Or I'm holding a uh, traffic My home. in an Adam's apple. Right, did, it, did it move I don't off? No. What? Did your home pick up and move off on its own? It flew away. It flew away. Like the wicked mm -hmm. wick of the wetch, of west? Wetch. <laughs> That's it. Nailed it. Uh, no. From a movie called Up. Up. Oh, I see. Yeah. I just mm -hmm. haven't seen that before. Yeah. All right. Well, good luck out there on the streets then. Find a good splice. Oh, uh, spl wow. English. This is when the stroke hits. So that's good. You might want to get to a hospital. Might want to. All right, George. Have a good one. Okay. Goodbye. Bye bye. See ya. Damn, that's some dark ass window tin on this. Says this guy has a blown out headlight, and I've seen him for like five minutes. So we're gonna do an informational stop right here and let this guy know that he has a headlight that's uh, blown out. Is this the same person we talked to? Hello. Hi, we already spoke, didn't we not? Mm -hmm. Okay, you got a headlight out. Oh, we might want to get that fixed then. Okay. Alright, just wanted to see. Say, bye. We got a supervisor. Oh, that guy's smashing. We got a supervisor request coming in at 283 Alhambra. Uh, that's the road that's right in front of the station here. And I actually passed these guys earlier while I was leaving. Uh, it's going to be the motorbike with two people on it. And then these two SO officers that are speaking with them. Lucky 2423. So they'll give me the breakdown about what's going on exactly. Um, probably something to do with something. Someone's pissed somewhere and yada, yada, yada. Howdy, dude. How's it going? Hello, sir. So me and me and Daniel here were chatting at the St. Shores gas station until my radar clocked this bike going 74 and a 50 going northbound on Panorama. Uh, we didn't stop him right away due to an unfortunate incident that got 22. I think I heard that angle. explosion. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, he managed to get him stopped over here, and I arrived as I was the one that clocked him. Spoke to him, and he said there's no way that uh, he was going 74. He, he said he was going 58, but not 74. He also claims to be an off-duty so, officer. So I told him that we're not going to do, we're not going to play a court case on the side of the road. So I told him it can either be a citation and all the evidence, dash cam, radar, and all that will be sent in to court to deal with, or just call a supervisor down here and get all this squared away right here, right now. And I guess he chose the supervisor out. Okay, I can have a chat with them and just pretty much relay, I guess, the same thing then, so. Alrighty. First up. Absolutely. Yep, yep. absolutely. <laughs> Is this uh, occupant also an officer or no? Uh, no. Oh, no. Okay. How you doing? Good. How about you, sir? Hello, uh, officers. Doing good. So, uh, I heard that there's some issues that you think with the discrepancy of the speed that you thought that they clock or whatnot. Yeah, something like that. Cause I don't know if my speedometer is broken or what. But I mean, she can even admit to this. I, I told her I was going 58 through there. You know, I'll admit. You know, it's just kind of going fast. But I wasn't paying attention. And then I saw it down before the railroad tracks and heard a big 22 explosion. If you know what I mean. Yeah. And then you know, bef they they didn't start to catch up to me or start to turn the lights or anything until I got on this road, pretty much right where we are. Okay. So, so what's the speed limit the on the road you were going? Uh, 50, I do believe. 50. So you were speeding yeah. even though it was only 8 over, correct? Yes, yes. I, yes, I told him that. I admitted that. But 74 was no way because I even slowed down before I even passed it. Okay. So at this point, pretty much I'm probably going to say the same thing that these guys said, which is this isn't the best place to be attempting to share your side oh, yeah, I, yeah, of I this. So if you feel as if that is incorrect, uh, you know, more power to you. Uh, take it to court. Take your stuff you can to court and explain that to the judge, okay? Um, I don't think it's worth your time, nor do I think it's worth their time to kind of hang this up anymore. You already said you were going eight over, which you were speeding. So if that's the case, you know, you've been cooperative the whole time. I don't see why not just knocking it down to what it would be 
the normal speed that what you said, which was eight over, which would just be like a you know a first bracket of speeding. So I mean, it's like it's not a big deal in the end of the day. You know yeah, what I mean? That's what I'm saying. But an eight and a seventy-four, you know, that's that's twenty. That's like a twenty-four. It is, but that's still uh, uh, the way our penal code's written. It doesn't matter. Yeah. You could go uh, anywhere from one to up to ninety-nine miles per hour, as long as you aren't going a hundred over. It's still the same bracket. So in, in theoretical terms, it doesn't really matter if he caught you going that speed. He would still have to and only can write you for the first thing of speeding, anyways. Okay. Yeah. I so, mean, obviously, it makes sense. Hey, but, he will know, put on the ticket that you were that he's clocked you going so whatever speed. That's the only time it's going to be retained. But other than that, it'll have no factor in the price or the charge that you ascertained, which is a traffic charge, not even anything serious. So yeah, it's just. I don't know. I mean, I, I thoroughly admit it. I was like, I was like going like 58 to 60. I'll thoroughly admit that. And I slowed down even before him. So I don't know where he clocked me at. I mean, well, it could be I was going 74, but it could be uh, an, you know, some some sort of different issue. But you know, like okay. I said, I'm not going to sit here and argue or anything like that. Well, if there is something that you feel that you can prove in court, then we highly suggest you do that. Okay. Um, yeah. I mean, the only thing I got is her as a witness, but I mean. Okay. She well, got, if the judge Jesus takes it, then. Too, so. Then hopefully you get the judge that, you know, works with those well or whatnot, whatever the case may be. Any other questions yeah. I can a uh, answer for you or anything like that? No, not really, no. I appreciate it, though. Absolutely. All right, you guys have a safe ride today then, okay? Thanks. Absolutely. Right, thank you. Yep, you're welcome. All right, guys. Um, if you guys need me, just call me. I'll come back. I appreciate it. Have a good one. So a nice little uh, informational... You know, stop with these gentlemen here. Um, they're obviously going to receive a ticket to some degree, probably. But the best thing to do is just not argue it on the side of the road. Because if the cops are going to ticket you, they're going to ticket you no matter what. You know, whether you're right or wrong. That's the unfortunate part. Um, and the only real place to, you know, have your chance to argue is in court. So if you feel something's wrong or protest, then that's your kind of time to do it. Monkey 2410. Um, so, yeah, so uh, hopefully it helped calm everyone down there and, you know, not everything is, you know, as easy as it seems sometimes, but hopefully there's a resolution there. So right now we got a reckless driver. He's uh, coming through the Braddock Tunnel is what the air unit's saying. So we're going to see if we can try to catch up to them or at least get over to the one near the Braddock Tunnel. Uh, I believe he collided into a vehicle, didn't stop, so also a uh, possible hit and run. He's entering the Braddock right now, which means we're going to have a chance to get over there. Relatively quick. I think Denozo is already going to be uh, over on the highway right now, so we should be able to intercept here shortly. Oh. Okay, we're waiting for interception. They're about to pass right now. Air unit's going to be above. I believe this is going to be the car. Uh, the sports car, gray and in color. Control to that County Explorer positive identification on the vehicle. Okay, so he just confirmed it's that sports car that's uh, off to the left of him. We'll go ahead and get in with him here in a second. We're going to block both lanes. I don't know what he's doing. Okay, he's getting out for some reason. I don't know what he's doing. He's uh, not cooperating. He's getting out of the vehicle. I don't know what he's doing. What is this guy doing? I have no idea. Honestly, it might even be worth it to get him out of the car. Yeah, honestly. Come on out. Walk back here to me. This is cooperating. You got anyone else in that car? Uh, no. Don't okay. shoot me, please. I'll take a peek please in the car. Sir, okay, front looks clear. Everything looks good with that. Relax, man. No one's going to shoot you. Down. You look like an idiot, sir. No one's going to shoot you. You never know. Okay, well, you are being pulled over for your reckless driving. You're passing on the shoulder. An air unit was above. Okay, so no one's else in the vehicle, nothing like that. It seems like a pretty relatively uh, good stop. Um, I think air unit's oh, still ahead. Right. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. Thing. Oh, I yeah, think yeah. he's taking yeah. off now, though. So, uh, it's going to be a normal traffic stop. We're going to check this guy's name, make sure uh, there's nothing else with the uh, oh. car that need, we need to be concerned about. He's acting a little bit weird, though, not going to lie. Nora, you feeling okay, man? Uh, yeah, the, maybe. Right. I don't know if you're Victor, nervous or Lincoln, if you're... Adam, you had something David, to drink today? Ida, Nora, no, Young. I don't drink. No? Okay. You feeling nervous at all or something? Yeah. Why? 
because he, he's, his mustache is intimidating. Okay, interesting response. Hang tight with him. All right, I'm hanging tight. So. Yo. So you calm down a little, and I don't think there's nothing to be worried about with this mustache, right? Yeah, but it is kind of scary looking. I don't think it's the case. I think what's more scary is how you're driving. Oh, don't worry. I never learned to drive. I know. I can clearly see that. So is there a reason why we're driving the way we're driving today? Or is that the reason is because you don't know how to drive? I just don't know how to drive. Okay. How'd you manage to get your license then? I passed the test. How'd you manage to do that if you don't know how to drive though? Honestly, that's a good question. Okay. Yep. Guess it's one for the DMV. Yeah, well. You'd have to ask them, yeah. I'd have to ask them. Yes, sir. So anything in the car that we should be concerned about? Uh, no. Like I told you, I'm not a criminal. My record is squeaky clean. Yeah, well, that's not actually correct. He said you had three felonies, so... I also feel I like know. I remember you. It was a while ago at this point, but I, I feel like you... Are you the guy that happened to say we were talking once and you said, okay, well, I'm just going to go handle it and go shoot it myself. And then we saw you down at another scene. Absolutely. Oh, it's him. I, that's a I great. You, you, you're you're the, about okay. I just, I, I just a fantastic memory over here then, if that's the case. <laughs> you give me the same vibes every time I come in contact you, with you. You know that, right? Like I'm well, sketchy, but not sketchy vibes. Like every time. I have no idea what you're talking about. I mean, that's fine. I'm just saying. I just That's how I was hey, able wait, to I mean, just... See, I was able to remember you by feelings. That's how I was able to remember you. Wow. Is I know. something... That's you new. Want me to take you out? I mean, you'd say... I mean, yeah, buy me a Jamba Juice first, but yeah, that's fine. Okay, I'm going to go write up your tickets. Sit tight. All right. You know, your partner is really aggressive. Is he, though? Yeah. What made you get a tattoo on your face? Call closed. Uh... It's a long story. Okay. Is it because you wanted to feel more aggressive when talking to people? Yeah. Honestly, in in reality, I'm just uh, I'm just a wussy. But, you know, just a wussy? I, is I that what you said? Yeah. Yeah. But I well. think the tattoo makes me look harder. You know. I mean, you know, whatever works for you, right? I have other places I'd like to be, sir. So if you could just please sign the tickets, that would be great. All right. Good day, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you. <clears throat> Don't go back to your oh. car. No. I'm gonna no, have to shoot you now. No. 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 I don't know. What are you doing? No. What Get no. out of the car. But I have to go home. Yeah, your ass is walking or you're calling a taxi. One of the two. You're not. Get out of the fucking car. I don't even know why you okay. think that would be an option. What do you mean? Get out of the car. That's what the option is the here. Car. But why? Because I said so. That's why. You want to play but this whole I... dumb shit? No! Get out of the car. Why? But can I not drive my car home? No, because you don't have a... No, this is not registered. That's why. But I paid for it. You might have paid for it. It doesn't matter. In the end of the day, that's what he just explained to you. Were you not paying attention? No. Step okay. out of the vehicle you need to just right get out of the car. You are subject to arrest for obstruction. I'm gonna... Why? Okay, 24 dispatch, like, 107, we have one non-compliant inside the vehicle. Like right we just now, get one more additional unit. We have it already right blocked now, and spiked, second. so it's not going anywhere. Okay. What are you doing? Yeah, you're making this know. way more difficult than I even want to deal with, dude. You already know you can't take the car, so walk go. away before I take you to jail. But it's my car. And not anymore, it's, it's the county's what car now. What do you mean? Negative. I just need one more, uh, or the union unit that called okay. out is fine. I appreciate it though. Okay, get out of the road, dude. I'm gonna fucking lose it here. Get out of the road. I have like two screws what? left before I actually lose it. No, go back to the road and walk on the roadway. Oh, okay. Get out of the freeway. Go to the but... shoulder. Oh, okay. Dude, he's right in the edge here. What is wrong I'm right in the edge right? too. We're all right at the fucking edge. What do you mean? Go to this Keep side going. Of the car. Jesus Christ. Absurd. Are they, is this a taxi? No. Are you here, here uh, Denoza, you can 
finish up your stuff. I'm going to have them supervise them. Just keep moving so we don't have to keep dealing with them. Hey, can you guys do me a... You're looking at your Paul, my man, right next to me. Uh, can you guys do oh, me yeah? a favor and supervise this guy and make sure he just keeps walking down that road? Yeah, sure. It's about the third time he's decided to walk in traffic here, and it's getting a little old, so... Gotcha. Awesome. I appreciate it, guys. Uh, as soon as you guys are good with that and he's clear enough away from this whole freeway, you guys can go 10-8. I appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. Awesome. You guys have a good one. You too. Okay, so at this moment, this guy is... i He's going to give him issues. Uh, it's not going to cross the line, I don't think, but he's definitely going to sit there and fuck with them. Oh, and he's blocking... He just made that car slam on the brakes. He's about to steal that car. I don't think he's going to steal oh it, God. but he just made them slam on the brakes, and I think he was saying some shit, so... Probably he's trying to get a ride. Oh, it could be the case, yeah. I tasked him with it's, those two uh, guys, so they'll be busy for a minute. Are you good here, then, so I can... Looks like uh, the county tow truck's coming right now. Okay, All right, good. Terry, back it up right here. There we go. Seems like everyone's named Terry nowadays. That's fantastic. All right, so he finally got his fucking ride. Son of a bitch, dude. I swear to God. Got his way anyways, that motherfucker. Uh, so we're going to do a sweep to or through Grapeseed and then go back over to Sandy Shores area so we can kind of see what's going on over there. 58. Who the fuck is going 58? This guy is going 58. I don't know what the fucking speed limit on this road. I think it's going to be 50. So eight over. Andy's uh, carrying cargo. So I would say that's enough to stop this guy for going a little bit over. We would stop a normal car for that. So if this guy is hauling a motorcycle, that was the whitest sure, motherfucking sure, sure, sure. thing I've ever seen in my life. Holy shit. I just got to see if I can get a speed sign here. Yeah, 45 trucks. Then again, I guess technically he would constitute being in a truck. So we'll have a chat with this guy um, right here for that speed coming down the road. Oh, sure, shit. <laughs> and then his fucking... Thing falls off. Uh, you lost. Uh, yeah, you returned. You're back yeah, there. Closing. Yeah, go ahead. Come to the vortex. If you could do me a favor, pull just to the right hand side of the road. Chris Polson. Thank you. We'll get that gate there in a second, okay? That's a, that's the ramp for you, though. Okay, so this guy uh, lost back of his truck there. I would like to get it, but I can't do anything about it since it's just there now, so... I was speeding 68 in a... I'm sorry, 58 in a 50. How you doing? Hello. Hi. Got a license registration insurance on you? You might turn this truck off. I can hardly hear you. Thank you so much. Uh, I'll help you get your back Five gate there, okay, eight. after the Six traffic seven, stop, okay? Three, five, nine, four, three, yeah. right, I'll be back tonight. This position I also clocked you going uh, 58 uh, and a 50. If you see one John Blaze on a green bicycle riding on the interstate, I've already told him not doing that as legal as you so. Correct, sir. 58 in a 50 and you're hauling. Like hauling okay, something, not hauling at speed. The truck will be registered to me, officer. Okay, what's your name? Faithless. Faithless, okay. Sit tight and uh, talk to this deputy here. I'll be right back, okay? All right, we're going to get them searched. So the, the truck's coming back to the female in the car, and then the driver has his name and is just driving the car. So we're going to check him out first since he's the driver. And his name is going to be John Thompson. John, and then Thompson. We got a license here coming back as... He has four different things. I've never seen a CDL pilot's Central weapons 18, and a driver, so that's interesting. 12-31-2022, end of the year is when it expires. Oh, I like how he's actually clipped it out and made it transparent. Very nice. Added that little extra bit of time and effort into that. I guess that's a good that's a double thumbs up on that. I like that. All right. Um, okay, so everything looks good on there. Charlie nine nine eight through Charlie eighteen. Vehicle registration here. Uh, Let's see. Roger. Do you have this guy's uh, wallet on your car? Bliss life. So again, this is going to be coming know. back to the female inside the, the car. Making sure, uh, should be Bliss in car. life. I hear a bike. 
two bicyclists. Nope, three bicyclists. Okay, good. Everyone's out on bikes today. Uh, so I don't know if this is nope. coming back. B L I S L I F E. B L I S. B L I S L I F E. No, that's correct. Okay, we're gonna need to have a chat with them since uh, the plate's not coming back. She said it was gonna be registered to her, but I'm not seeing anything here. Let me. Yeah, it would be in the system. She's saying, but I'm not seeing it. So, she said her name was Faith Bliss. So we're just gonna check that really quick. Uh, let's see. I want to see if I get a name return on her. I do. Vehicle registration. See, I'm not seeing it. I don't know where. That's not on my side. Denozo, can you do me a favor and check the plate, see if it comes back? I'm not seeing it on her records or anything. So I'm not getting a plate return on it at all. Has anyone else brought this up as an issue before? No, sir. no, okay, yeah, because when I searched her, your name was Faith Bliss, right? Ida Frank Edward. Yes, sir. Okay, so when I search it, it doesn't even show up under your registered vehicles there, which is a little odd. Boy Lincoln, Ida Stan, Lima, Ida Frank Echo. No return on my answer. Yeah, my dispatcher's not even getting a return as well. Dispatching 3 x 6 3 x 6 can you uh 11 279 should you clear right, uh, okay whiskey nice. one uh romeo one and then her name if you want to cross reference it is faith bliss and it, i don't know it doesn't even show up under the list of vehicles there needs me we can coming from. if if he would allow us we could park it at the uh the custom, route 68 custom shop and uh, grab one of the casey straps to finish moving the bike just until the that's, that's not vehicle me. gets the, uh, uh fixed ready. Yeah, I really don't have an issue with that um, at all. It's not a big deal. Um, the only thing is just making sure that the vehicle is either registered or it's not registered. And if it's not registered, fortunately, it just can't be driven around town. So. I understand that option. Okay, so I'm not getting it. I had two other people check, sure, and so I'm not seeing vehicle sure. registration here, so I can't just make it magically appear. So unfortunately, no, today we're going to have you park the car up. Uh, you can grab yep. what other things you want. Your license, uh, you know, is all good. His license is all good, so that's not an issue, so... Yes, sir. Okay. If, if, it, if it's all right, if we can pull it into the uh, Casey shop parking lot. Yep. Let's let's get everything else squared away first as to okay. the original issue as to why I pulled you guys over, which was the speed. Okay. I'm going to probably cite that, him for that. Cool. And then as soon as we get done with that, I will assist you guys with getting over there. Okay. All right. Thank you, sir. Fantastic. So uh, if you just want to hang out out here back on your tailgate uh, area, then I will be right back with you. Will do, sir. Thank you. So for the driver, we're going to issue him a citation for the speed. I have a clock at 84. I don't know. Oh, no, that's coming up to me. So that's probably a secondary unit. Um, so the driver is going to be John Thompson. I'm just going to get that put back in the CAD here. And uh, now we're going to get his citation written up. This is going to be for, well, we just got to punch his name in first before we do anything. Thompson. I think I hit the wrong one. We want to do the one with the age because it's going to have a little more information than the other one. Uh, so this plate isn't coming back, so we can't register this plate. I did catch him for a speeding charge, so we got him for 58 in a posted 50. Pace type would have been radar. Court date's going to be two weeks from now, which is going to be the 11th, I guess we could say. Court time, 800 hours. $500 fine. Speed. Uh, and then I think that pretty... Oh, yeah. Uh, vehicle registration as well due to the fact that it's not registered so vehicle registration on that and then we're not towing the car so we're going to assist them with that with by not towing the car there so we kind of cut them a break uh, let's do active date we're going to go ahead and 26 supervisor is going to be crap in right there stop it's filing officer just go ahead and copy that over Oh, narrative. Radar. Vehicle. 58 in a... 50. We got the tailgate out of the road. Oh, good to hear. I... Cars were going around. Oh, I was the person that made that happen on accident. 
Well, that's why your car's good enough. Add on for the available you should Okay. Pass. So, uh, today it's going to be two tickets, okay? One for the vehicle registration, since we're operating a motor vehicle on the roadway without vehicle registration, okay? I understand it's her car, but you're the operator of the vehicle, so you should know if it has vehicle registration or not, okay? And then two is going to be that speed, 58 and a 50, okay? Okay. Okay, any questions? Because you seem a little confused. Um, just confused about the whole truck registration thing. That's really it. So. Okay, what about what? What is confusing you? I, uh, I mean, we've got paperwork right here that shows that she got registered. So I get that, but if I it's just... not showing up in our system, what do you want us to do? Just take your word for it. All right. I'm all right, sorry. All right. So I get that it confuses you. I had three. It's not like I just went off my own system and said, okay, fuck it. I had two other people check. And it's not showing up in any way, shape, or form. And then I fact checked myself by also checking her name to make sure that it wasn't going to show up under the list of vehicles. And no, it didn't show up. Okay. So you want to sign the bottom of these two? It's not a mission to go saying to take care of this core that we spoke today, okay? Los Angeles, Los Angeles, who's right now? All righty, so there's your two copies of that, your information back as well, too. I'm going to follow you guys over to the mod shop where you guys Copy park that. it up, okay? All right. All right, fantastic. I appreciate your guys' cooperation today. Yep. All right, we're going to get them assisted over to the uh, mod shop so we can make sure that they do park it up and don't attempt to drive it. You're good to go. Uh, so we want to make sure that they park it up. Oh god, that truck almost fucked everything up. Veered off into their lane. Uh, and, and these don't seem like the type of people that would come back to drive the car afterwards. So I don't think that's going to be an issue we really have to worry about. We just want to see them kind of park it up. And if they want to unload the bike, get another truck that's registered, that's totally fine. They just can't necessarily drive that one. Alright, we're going to tell them thank you and we're going to bounce from here. Okay, appreciate it. You guys have a good one then, okay? Thank you. All right, everyone, that's going to be where we wrap up this episode of DOJRP, getting in with the Blaine County Sheriff's Office in the 2016 Explorer. I actually had a really good patrol in this uh, Explorer. Usually the handle line is a little touchy, which it still is, except we managed to handle it fairly well. Uh, did not come anywhere close to the action that we saw last episode, but I think, you know, a nice little tone back episode in the county area is always nice and relaxing. So nonetheless, thank you so much for coming out and watching in this episode of DOJRP, and we will see you next video.